In Gold Diggers of 1935, Berkeley conceived his ultimate triumph of this era. The Lullaby of Broadway was his personal favorite, a film within a film that features the most memorable tap dance sequence ever devised. It is an incredible piece of film fantasy, a monument to the cinematic genius of Busby Berkeley. How did you say that last step went? Uh, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Among the great stylists of the 30s, Astaire and Rogers contributed more dancing of unsurpassed originality and execution than any other artist. Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers. Nobody does it better. Brothers. During the 30s and the 40s, they became the most successful specialty team in movie history. 
Fayard and Harold Nicholas raise the flash act to new heights of elegance. And this number from Down Argentine Way is a classic demonstration of their extraordinary abilities. <laughs> thought of trying to compare Ray Bolger's style to any other dancers. <laughs> Forget it. He was in a class by himself. A Broadway superstar. Actor, singer, dancer, and superb comedian. Ray Bolger could do it all. favorite musical is certainly mine. The multi-talented Gene Kelly will always be remembered for his contributions to this classic film. It was choreographed and directed by Kelly and Stanley Donan. And this number with Gene and Donald O'Connor is one of the very best tap dance routines ever put on film.
supporters Kiss Me Kate provided an unusual number of dance routines, and they were all showstoppers. The film version was directed by George Sidney, with choreography by Hermes Pan. This formidable quartet includes Bob Fosse, Bobby Van, Tommy Rawl, and the object of their affection, the lady known as Tops in Taps, Miss Ann Miller. Silk Stockings was directed by Ruben Mamoulian with Eugene Loring handling the imaginative choreography. This number, The Red Blues, is a dazzling example of the many splendid talents of one of the greatest dancers to ever appear in films, Sid Charisse. Yeah. 